Right, so this is the Aspire Nautilus 2. Uh, I'm a big Aspire fan. I've always had Aspire from K1 to Nautilus, which were epic, apart from you you know you tried to unscrew it and it just seized, but that were livable with. Now I've had an Aspire Mini. That was alright, apart from when I unscrewed it the grass the, the glass cracked. Now this is the user manual. I'm doing this video really because I bought this. It weren't expensive, it were twenty-two pounds. It looks quite nice. Right. It says to fill, unscrew and remove the metal sleeve. Add your preferred e-liquid to the glass tube. Replace the stainless steel replace the stainless steel sleeve. Right. Coil installation. Unscrew and remove the metal sleeve. Remove the glass tube. Unscrew and remove the coil. Attach the new coil. Blah blah blah. Simple stuff. Right. This is it. I've had it. Just over 24 hours. Uh, it says it's a 2 mil tank, is it? Yeah. 2 mil. Well, let me focus in. 2 mil capacitor. Right. Improved flavour production. And it's... I'm not going to lie. It's rubbish. It is really, really... I'm really, really disappointed with this. So... I sent a message to Aspire on Twitter. And their reply was, what's up with the tank? You've overfilled it. So this is a tank. Mouthpiece pulls off. Yeah, I've, I've already had this off. So you basically unscrew it. This is my problem. That's the problem. And if you don't know, you know, you're thinking, what, what's the problem? Right, I've washed my hands. I've washed it with washing up liquid, so there's no grease on my hands right now. There is no grease. Now, this coil, which I'm going to replace uh, because I bust it, and I'm going to explain why it's bust. It hasn't affected this, it doesn't leak. This tank doesn't leak, right? I don't know if you can see where I've busted it. Can you see that now? The problem is this was my problem. It says to remove this glass sleeve to, to put the coil in, yeah, right. I mean, that bit's come off. The airflow has come off. Right, so I can't get this. I mean, I'm trying. You know what I mean? I I work on cars for a living, so I'm not the gentlest of guys. But physically, physically cannot get this glass sleeve off at all. I don't want to break it because... Oh, I am. It's jammed on. It is jammed on. Now people of the world just put your coil in. Okay. This is this is a design fault. I physically cannot get this off here. This glass sleeve, it will not come up. I can push, you know. And it's finally just come off. But that's the first time I've been able to I've been trying. Right, that has just come off. I filled it up six times this tank. And now it comes off easy. Now, the problem we have is, so this was the problem, which I've just kind of fixed. But you put your coil in, obviously I couldn't get this tank off. But now it has come off. But I'm going to try this again, and if it doesn't work, I'm 
I feel a bit like a dick in all fairness now because I'm having a wind going, I can't get this off and I just got it off. But you've seen the amount of effort, so I'm going to have to put another coil in. This coil's been in a day. But, uh, so fuck. Right. They said I over overfilled the tank. So I've put a new coil in. Let's actually have a look, see if it has leaked. Mm, you can't see. Yeah, there's a bit of oil in there. There is a bit of oil in there. I'll have to just uh, clean that bit of oil out. <coughs> right. So the oil is semi out. New coil. Right, I am tightening that up by hand. And look, my fingers are slipping. Place the glass. Now, they actually said I overfilled it. Where, where would you say the fill mark is? There's no saying max on it. There's nothing what says maximum on this tank. I can't believe how easy that comes off now. Before, you saw me, I was twisting it, I was pulling it, I had to stick my finger in it and finger it like a bloody woman. Yeah, that's going to get some laughs. Right, let's get us a liquid. Which, which liquid do we use? We use this liquid. We use Mirage. I bought this from Mirage. That's why I know it's a reputable company. Uh, in Sheffield, Mirage is like the kings of liquids. Anything. They aren't cheap. Right. This is so that we'll, we'll go for the round two. Right now, because I'm whinging a, 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 a spire with this. So we'll go for the round two. Now... These are 10 mil bottles. Are they 10 mils? Yeah, they will be 10 mil. Yeah, 10 mil bottles. So I should be able to get five tanks. Now, that didn't. What's the point in that? Why can't I fill it all the way? They said I overfilled it. And that's where I had it yesterday when I sent them the picture. And they reckon that's overfilled. I, I didn't want a tank where I'd have to be filling it up every two minutes. So this bit. Yeah. This bit then, obviously, as you can see, it screws on here. Now, the good bit of design here. There is a good bit of design here. Is the glass because the Nautilus brilliant tank? You know, Nautilus Mini were a good tank. You drop it, you break your glass. The good bit here is it's got that coating on. They've really gone to town with that just because, like that, I don't that, that does not look overfilled, but they reckon that were overfilled. I don't bloody know. Put that the wrong way. It's got it can only go on one way, I believe. Clipped in. Obviously, I'll give my mouthpiece a clean and then uh, it can go back on. But yeah, Nautilus, uh, the Nautilus 2. It is the Aspire Nautilus 2. I'm going to give it another shot. I'm going to give it another try before if we go back to old, uh, old Nautilus, if we can buy one, because obviously now the uh, the government have banned them because they're over, over 2 mil capacity. So, well, I need to wash that. But on the upside, what I do appreciate with the Nautilus 2 
you get a spare mouthpiece. In fact, we'll use that mouthpiece now. Spare mouthpiece. You get all sorts. And this is what let the Nautilus Mini down. You get a seal kit with lots of seals. So I'll give a spy of that. I say I'm a huge spy fan. And you get another glass. I just felt this one were a bit badly designed. They tried to get it right. And I feel like they've kind of failed. But I'm going to give it another shot. I really will give it another shot. The only other option, uh, the only other problem I found is we aspire, and it's, this is not aspire's fault, but there is a lot of counterfeit aspire stuff going about online. So it's turned to a rant, a rant slash review. I mean, always check the smart scratch. I haven't checked it. I don't need to because I know this. In fact, I can do it now. I will check it just to to do a point here. But this company, Mirage, uh, Sheffield. This is my home city where I am originally from. Uh, and it were I could have got it cheaper elsewhere, but the Mirage is just I don't know. I just really trust them. You know what I mean? It's a they're all over the city. Literally, there must be what twenty stores now in one city. So if not more, but we'll get another shot and then we'll give it another review. But I just feel like, in fact, let's just try it. You've just seen me screw this in. So it might have just been me. So I screwed the coil in. And now, let's tech it out. And now, I've got a feeling this is going to be like the old Nautilus. No, it is working right. The coil in, unscrewing, that's what we like. So it might have just been me. So let's uh, give it another shot. We'll give it round two. We'll give it another two or three days. I'll do another review of this. And I'm using this. Uh, it's a bit battered now. I've not had it long, but with my line of work, it is, I open bottles with it as well. Uh, these, I stick power. Uh, they're, re they're really good. I would recommend them. I think they're a 5,000 milliamp battery, if I'm right in saying so. See, that's what I mean. I've had it like a month, and it's that's actually took some good, you know, Good ammo with me at work. But yeah, these are like 5,000 milliamp. They last all, you know, really long. They really, really, and the finish is quite nice. But as I say, for me, for what I do, they all look like this. They always get battered and scratched, and that's normal. So, but I'd recommend, I really would. If, you, if you're just into, like, I've stopped smoking, vaping, I don't want to have a cigarette no more, and you're using a tank like this, this is probably the best thing for you. I've always had... I had a... My first ever one was... It wasn't... No, it was. It were an E-Leaf. And it were an I-Stick, is it? Yeah, I-Stick at 30 watt. And then went to 50 watt. But I also had... Coal Fire. Coal Fire. That really, really took some ammo. A cool fire could take it, but then again, the e leaves they really took some ammo, especially as a working. I'm not into this sub I no, let's go cloud chasing. I'm not bothered about that for what I want it for. The uh, the eye stick power really does its job well. I'm running them on like 12 watt, and then when coil starts to go a bit weaker, we'll go to 13, a bit weaker, 14, and then when it's due to get changed. Probably by end of week. I'm on 15 watt. So I'm, I've made a cock up of this video, but I will post it uh, because I couldn't get the glass bit off. And like, see, you know what I mean? I've got dirty nails. I work on cars all day. I'm used to being heavy handed. So that were a bit, a bit disappointing, but we'll give it another review in two or three days. Thanks for watching.